the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. Which Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club on Power 1051. Yes, donkey of the day for Thursday, May 2nd goes to employees of Starbucks in Hong Kong. Now, I'm sure you've gone to the mighty Starbucks before. We all do. Starbucks is actually keeping a lot of y'all alive. Well, you know, they write your name on your drink, put it on the shelf so you know it's yours. Great concept. Except when the person doesn't know how to properly spell or they, you know, misspell your name. Well, a young lady named Virginia went into Starbucks, and when she grabbed her paper cup, she realized her name was spelled wrong. Oh, instead of Virginia, they wrote on her cup, Vagina. Classic. <laughs> Yummy. I would have put my mouth on that cup immediately. We know. <laughs> what? Virginia took to her Facebook page and went off. She said, fancy your staff not being able to spell an American name like Virginia. She says the misspelling has tainted her Starbucks experience and left her with fear and anticipation oh, whenever gosh. she goes there. She says Starbucks has to buck up. I don't even know what that means. Or just not spell your customers' names anymore. She says it's a derogatory attitude, even if it's not intentional. Well, I have news for you. That was intentional, okay? First of all, that would never happen at Dunkin' Donuts. Second of all, somebody at Starbucks is trying to be funny. No way you remotely thought someone's name could be Vagina. I done met a lot of chicks with strange names in my lives. I done heard every first name ending in Quana, Quisha, Nika. I done ran across people named after Liquors, Alizé, Remy, Chardonnay. I done ran across chicks named after automobiles, Mercedes, Lexus, Hyundai. Hyundai was a foreign exchange student. But I have never met a young lady, birth name or nickname, Name Vagina. Sorry, Starbucks employee. You know better. You was trying to be funny. And for that, you get the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Well, hello, Vagina. <sighs> Hi. What's All up, right. Vagina? <laughs> How are you, Vagina? I'm okay. sure there's a child somewhere named Vagina. Can no, I fix the Vagina, please? <laughs> hello, is Vagina there? Oh, Vagina just left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vagina got cut and now she's bleeding. I don't oh, know why. Why is that disgusting. wrong? Vagina's, vagina's in my class. <laughs> vagina, go take a bath. So it's wrong to name your child Vagina, but it's okay to name them the nickname for Richard? I don't understand that. What? Oh. You can say dick. That's a person's name. I know a lot of dicks. <laughs> Dick all right. Tracy. All right. All right. You know what? Let's you stop. Dick no, no, no. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. It just feels awkward. Feels like we're going into the I realm. Know, I don't know a lot of dicks. Dick Daniels. vacation. Oh, feels like we're going into the realm of vacation. And I don't want to go there. Hold on. So I'm the only person in this room who knows some dicks. The Breakfast Club. Power 105.1.